Hi guys, today we're going to be taking a quick look at Corsair 650D. Now this is the first mid-tower case within the Obsidian series. And inside the Obsidian series we obviously have the 700D and the 800D which are both full tower cases. And the 650D behind me here actually takes a lot of its uh, characteristics from the 800D just in a much smaller shell. So I'll just run you through a few of the features before we go into the video. It's got dual 200mm fans, one at the front and one at the top. We've got a docking station up at the top so we can get quick access to 2.5 inch drives and 3.5 inch drives. We've got 8 PCI expansion slots at the back, which is uh, quite a lot for a, a mid-tower case actually. Um, within we've got quite a lot of space so we can have big CPU coolers, long graphics cards, interchangeable hard drive cages. So if we do have a long graphics card we can actually take those out. And we actually have space for water cooling. So those that favor the 800d uh, but don't want the you know the full tower case you can still get your water cooling stuff inside here so we'll take a quick tour of this case i hope you enjoy the video if you've got any comments or questions please leave them in the box below those of you out there that lean towards elegant styling are going to love what corsair have done with the 650d as you can see here on the front we've got a brushed aluminium faceplate and this has got some really, really nice sleek style to it. And the front mesh there is actually removable. So this is just pressed in. And it's a removable fan filter for the front intake fan, which is a 200mm fan. That obviously generates quite a lot of air pressure. Draws in a lot of air, so it generates quite a lot of dirt and dust. But with this, we can just remove it and clean it really easy. We don't actually have to get inside the case. So that is very, very handy. And that just presses in and clicks into place. And then moving up through the case, we've got the four five and a quarter bays. And these are, aren't actually aluminium, but they are plastic. Still take with it the same styling so it doesn't look out of place. But at the very top, we've got the front panel connectivity. So we've got the power button and LED indicator. And then we've got this extra panel in here, which does look like a drive bay cover, but actually press the corner in that drops down to reveal the ports and on this front panel we've got two USB 3 ports headphone microphone jack two USB 2 ports firewire and a reset button at the very top of the 650D we've got a compartment here and this is a cover which slides back and this reveals to us the docking station so if you've got a two and a half inch or a three and a half inch drive that you want to get access to all you need to do is connect it to the serial ATA ports inside here. This just saves us the hassle of having to install the drive into the case and connect cables, uh, etc. So it's a real quick solution for getting access to your data. One of my favorite features about the 650D is the fact that it's got these quick release latches here on the side panels. So Corsair have actually gone one stage further beyond what most case manufacturers go to in terms of tools mechanisms. So in a typical case, we'd get hard drive storage, optical storage, um, PCI Express would have tool as mechanisms. But now we've got the side panels. And this just means we can get the side panels off really, really easy. I'll show you. Drop them down and there we go. It's off in a couple of seconds. Really, really useful feature. And uh, on the other side, we've got the same thing as well. So, you know, over the other side, we've got behind the motherboard tray. Sometimes we've got a lot of cables and it just means we can get it on really easy. We don't have to struggle with the screwdriver. Uh, so a really, really good uh, feature that I really like it. So as you can see, lots of space inside the 650D. Um, lots of places to store your cables and um, CPU cooler's got quite a lot of clearance there. As has the graphics card and we can remove these uh, hard drive cages but that's just giving you a rough overview of what you can get away with. Uh, and now we'll go on a quick close-up tour. Okay, let's go in for a closer look then. First of all, we'll take a look at the cable management. At the top of the 650D there, we've got the EATX cutout for P4 cable. And we can just thread that behind the motherboard tray. You don't have to have it trailing across the board. And this is a feature that I look for on all case reviews. So that's good to see. We've got lots of cable grommets for threading cables and uh, obviously this means that we can keep it really, really tidy. You can see here 
the interior is very clean and a clean interior means that we're going to be able to improve our temperatures the last thing we want is obstructive cables causing any obstruction so that's uh, always something to look out for for hard drive storage there we've got two cages and we can install three and a half inch and two and a half inch drives we've seen this typically on a lot of cases where we've got a frame and we just fit the drive inside here there you can see the holes for two and a half inch drives and those just slot into each rail there and click into place and we can even remove these cages you can see there that it's split into two I've removed the thumb screws already and literally just slide this out there you can see this removes out and this means that if we've got a longer graphics card we can fit it inside no problem now we've got here in the Zeus 6950 direct CU2 this is over 11 inches and we've you can see there that uh, we'd have enough space anyway but if we did have a HD 6990 which is 12 inches and it's getting a little bit close to the hard drive cages we can still fit it there no problem because we can remove that cage and in fact if you do remove the cages it's just going to mean that the intake fan has got a better um, better chance of getting that airflow through the case and it doesn't have any obstruction back of the 650D there we've got eight PCI expansion slots so if you've got multiple graphics cards, quad SLI, you've got the option there to go for that. Moving up, we've got the 120mm rear exhaust fan. And at the top, a 200mm fan. And of course, I've already shown you the 200mm fan behind the hard drive cages there. So that's an intake. So in total, we've got three pre-installed fans. And that should be adequate for cooling. Actually, if you go over to Vortex.net, I've got a full review over there and you can check out the thermal performance from the 650D. Okay guys, just as a final clip, I thought I would show you the noise levels from each of the case fans inside the 650D. Obviously, this isn't a professional test. I'm just going to get my mic as close to each of the fans as possible, giving you a flavour for what to expect. Uh, we've got a 200mm fan at the front, 200mm at the top and a rear exhaust, which is 120mm. So I'll get my mic and I'll get it as close to each of the fans as possible just to give you an overall idea for what to expect. So I'll just boot her up. So this is the start. This is a 200mm fan at the front. And then we're going to the rear for... Um, the 120mm and also the 200mm because they're really close together. So hopefully that's given you a rough idea for what to expect from the 650D in terms of noise levels from these fans. Hope you've enjoyed the video anyway guys. Uh, this has only been a very brief one. Um, I'm just showing you I just wanted to give you an idea for what it's like uh, close up. I've actually done a full review on Vortex.net that goes into a lot more detail. You get the uh, the close up shots, um, a description of everything from the outside, inside, thermal performance. Uh, put it up against a list of other cases that we've reviewed at Vortex.net. So if you go over there and just check that out, I'll pop the link in the description. Thanks very much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And if you've got any ideas for more case reviews or you know any other product reviews, just let us know by uh, dropping us a message on our channel page. So thanks very much and see you later.